In today's video, I'm going to show you eight different ways that you can add a hinge to your project. Let's get started. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and if you're new here, we like exploring creative ways to use ordinary materials so you can complete your DIY projects easier and faster. We share inspiration, customer builds, tips and tricks, tutorials, and all kinds of videos like that. So if you're interested in those types of things, definitely consider subscribing, we appreciate it. A lot of people ask how they can incorporate hinges into their project. We have some really great examples in the community that I wanna share with you guys. So I've rounded up eight different designs that we can see how they were made and how they were used. Let's not waste any more time, let's check them out. The first design is really simple because it uses a T-connector with a slight modification. T-connectors have a heat shriek friction band that allow you to have extra grip when securing the pipe. But with the hinge, we don't want that extra grip, so we're gonna remove the friction band and then tighten the connector onto the pipe. When tightening the connector, this pipe gets secured first before this one, which means we can tighten it until this one is completely secure, and then this connection where the hinge motion will be is loose. You can even add a dab of grease to the conduit underneath the connector, which makes the motion a little bit more smooth. We have a great example from the community, from Scott, who used this hinge in his chicken run. This next design you might remember from a few months ago when Dave made a video on a hinge that utilizes a smooth rod and these three quarter inch end caps. You can make this design with three different pieces of conduit and the smooth rod runs through each piece and the end caps have holes drilled through them and they act as bushings between the pieces of conduit. And when it's all put together, you have this hinge in the middle that you can attach a connector to and then swivel it any way you need. Just be sure to add the metal caps on the end on top of the plastic end caps, just so the pipes and everything stay together. This next design is really cool and useful because it gives you two options for movement. Not only does it swivel around the pipe, but you can also slide it up and down. Dellen came up with this whenever he was building his adjustable solar panel stand, and here's how he made it. You can get these half inch EMT couplers from your local hardware store, and they have a wall in the middle that allows you to put two pieces of half inch EMT end to end together, and then there's two set screws that secure it in place. But Dellen came up with this design that uses a metal file to file down the wall on the inside. So then you can slide the coupler all the way over conduit. That gives you the motion that you can slide up and down. Then if you remove the set screws, you can attach the T-connector around the coupler. And even if you tighten it all the way down completely, you still get a secure connection here and you can still slide it up and down the half inch EMT. Next up are these three quarter inch aluminum snap-on hinges. Now these are made for PVC pipes, but Nick used them in his garden enclosure and said that they worked out great. All you have to do is snap them onto the conduit. As you can see, there's still a little bit of movement, but no problem because the hinges come pre-drilled with holes on both sides of both sides of the hinge. And all you have to do is use a number 10 bolt through the conduit, through the pre-drilled holes, and then with a nut on the other side, you can secure it in place. Once you have both sides secure, then you have a good hinge. This next hinge is really cool because it allows you to remove the gate that the hinge is attached to. Peter made this when he wanted to be able to take the gate off of his garden enclosure, and he achieved it by making this two pieces. So there's two pipes that have holes drilled out so you can connect it to the structure. And then there's a threaded pipe insert and a bolt or a stud coming out of the top, and that makes up the part that attaches to the structure. And then you have the piece that attaches to the gate itself. And this again has two holes drilled through it to attach to the gate. And then you can take the bottom part that has an end cap or a shim that has a hole big enough to fit the stud from the structure piece. Then you can take the gate side and slide it over top of the stud. And then that gives you a gate that opens and closes. You do need two hinges per gate though, so just keep that in mind to make sure that it's rigid. If you need more explanation on this method, I'll be sure to link Peter's post in the community down below, and you can see his write-up on the process and also the pictures he posted on all of the hardware and how everything comes together in the end. This next hinge is from a community member named Marie, and she used two off-the-shelf one-inch PVC couplers. She bolted them together and then secured a piece of conduit into one of the couplers. With one of the conduit pieces secured and the other one loose, 
When it sits onto the structure, you have a hinge that swivels around because this one can move freely. You can see that she made a pretty big enclosure with a large gate. It looks like it's holding up great and she's happy with the result. Another off the shelf conduit connector that you can find at your local hardware store are these compression fittings. And these work similarly to the coupler that we looked at earlier where you take two pieces of conduit connect them end to end, and then you tighten these nuts that compresses a clamp on the inside and secures the conduit in place. We've seen people make flanges out of these, but Brian recently shared his truck bed rack where he used these to make hinges. It's a pretty clever idea from Brian and really simple to do. You just take the nut off of one side of the fitting and then secure a piece of conduit to the side that still has the nut on it. You'll do that twice and that'll give you two pipes on the outside that you can secure to your structure, kind of like he did in his bed rack. And then in between those two pipes, you'll just insert a pipe that sits inside of the fitting but doesn't compress. And this allows you to have a middle piece that opens and closes. The last hinge design that I have for you is something I came up with recently. I haven't tested this on an actual gate yet, but I'll be sure to soon and let you guys know in the community how well it works. In the meantime, I'll share with you guys the idea behind the hinge. In the middle, there will be a pipe with a threaded pipe insert on the top and bottom with a bolt or threaded rod attached. Then you'll take a pipe that has a threaded pipe insert and put that on the bottom. And then you'll take a pipe that has a threaded pipe insert and attach that to the top. You'll tighten those down almost all the way, leaving a little bit of a gap. And then when you secure the top and bottom to your frame, you'll have this pipe in the middle that will be able to swivel and open and close. And that's all eight hinge designs that I have for you in today's video. But before you go, I do need your help. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be making an enclosure and making a video about it. And I wanna put a gate on the enclosure that incorporates one of the hinges from today's video. I don't know which one to use, so I want you guys to pick out your favorite and let me know down in the comments which one it is. Whichever one gets the most votes, that'll be the one that I use in that build. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want more information about the community builds and the hinges, I'll link all of the posts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.